Hiya! So in this video, we're going to be talking about quantile functions. Um, and this should already be, this is something that you should already have seen in real life, um, where these are kind of things that we've seen um, repeatedly in other places. Um, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, oh, did I hide my video again? I might have hid the video. I really need to, sorry. Uh, for the last video, this is the words up top. Sorry about that. Um, so you, this is kind of things you've already seen. So let me break, uh, break down the idea. And basically what we have is if I start off with an, um, CDF, F of sub X of X, remember that this by definition is just given by this, right? So this is the, uh, cumulative distribution function. Uh, but sometimes we want to do the inverse. Uh, so for example, sometimes we might be given a value for this. So we might be told, oh, this is equal to P for some random variable P and we want to do the inverse. So in other words, we want to find X such that this is true. Um, and these are called quantile. So the book calls these inverse distribution functions, but in reality, they're not inverse distribution functions. They're inverse cumulative distribution functions, or as we call them quantile functions. Um, and this you've definitely seen. Uh, because this is when, like, um, you know how when you're doing, like, standardized tests and they say, oh, you're in the 10th percentile or something, right? Percentile. Um, we'll actually see in, like, two seconds the word percentile, number four. Um, so you've kind of already seen this. Um, and so basically what the function is, if you think about it, it's only going to be defined from zero to one, right? Because your values are only ever, you start off at zero, you end up at one, and that's it. That you don't ever get more than that. Um, and so the solution is normally called the pth quantile. So in other words, if I were to have, um, if I want to do the 12th quantile, right, 12th quantile, I just plug in 12. Minus 1 is 12. Uh, 1 over 12. So there are some standard quantiles that uh, people talk about on the regular. There's quartile, there's median, there's decile, and percentile. Uh, quartile is basically when p is equal to one-fourth-ish. Um, so there's the first quartile, first quartile is one-fourth. Second quartile is two-fourths. Third quartile is three-fourths, etc. Um, and basically the idea is that, so... If I have some function, the first quartile is basically this area. The f half is all of this. Well, the underneath part is all of this. Is this one? The fourth, the three fourths is all of this, etc. Um, median is basically the same thing, except we have half, right? Um, decile. At this point, you should start figuring out what this should be. This is one tenth. And we can do the same thing as well. So we should have first, second, third decile, etc. cetera. Um, so if you're in the third decile, that means you're in the, the 30, you're above 30% of people. 30, one, one, three over 10. Percentile is one over 100. So if you're in the 70th percentile, that means you're higher than 70% of people. So 70% is higher than 70% of people. And that's basically where this idea of quantile is coming from. So let's look at an example uh, as to how this kind of helps us figure out um, scores and stuff. So um, what we're going to do is... Um, oh, we just, we don't do this. We do this in, I'm thinking of a different example. This is done in exercise sheets. Uh, so if I have some random variable x... Uh, and it is exponential distribution with parameter lambda. What I want to do is find a formula for the pth quantile. Uh, so what we do is we know from before that we know this distribution, right? This is equal to 1 minus e to the minus lambda x, right? We, we already saw this previously. Uh, this was just in the last section. So the question is now asking to find the converse. So when is this equal to p? Solve for x. So let's do this. So let's solve for s. So I can add one, I can subtract one from both sides. 
I can multiply by minus 1. I can take the natural log of both sides. I could do it, multiply by minus 1. And then I can divide by lambda. Um, and that's it. So this is our pth quartile. So in other words, if I were to say, oh, what is 50th percentile, right? 50th percentile, 50th percentile. Or other ways to say it is, um, what was it? Median or court, right? Median, second median, uh, second quartile. Quartile um, or fifth decile. So notice how this is the first time we see the word median, and now you, you now you kind of understand where median comes from. Um, so we have these, and this is where we just plug in this p. So the p in this case, in all of these cases, p is equal to one half. So what we have is x is equal to minus natural log of 1 minus 1 half over lambda, whatever lambda is. Um, so I won't try to solve this, but basically we have natural log of 1 half over lambda, and that's it. Um, so that'll tell you what your x um, is from there. Um, and that's it for today. Um, that's uh, all the videos for this week. Uh, so we'll stop here. Uh, thank you for following, uh, and I will see you all next week for the last, well, I guess second to last week of class. So I'll see you then. Bye.